Welcome into the Ace Craftsman Workshop. We are with expert handyman, Sean Boino. Sean, you brought in a rocking chair today. Are you planning on sitting on the job? This rocking chair is nasty, grimy, old, needs a lot of work. You know, there's a lot of people that have like old leather pieces around their house and you could see it's just a, a really beautiful piece of leather, Yeah. but it's really kind of worn out, dingy. It's seen better days for yeah, sure. Yeah, there's a little adhesive stain on there, a couple scratches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, try to rejuvenate this by cleaning it and conditioning it. And that'll really help this, you know, last quite a bit longer. And I don't see our normal weekend workbench tools and supplies out. What are the supplies we need for this? It's very simple. You need a good leather cleaner and a good leather conditioner. And we brought some rags with us and that's all we need. All right, well, Sean, I tell you what, why don't I get this chair out of the way? We can move the workbench in and work on the cushion. Let's do it. So let's first just wipe this down, get any loose dirt off uh, with this rag. You just want to use a dry rag on this? Yeah, just dry rag, just get any loose product off of there. All right, wiping with a dry cloth didn't make a big difference. Let's put the products to the test and see if we can really refresh this leather. This is uh, made by Lexol, it's a leather cleaner. Now what makes this special, it's actually pH balanced. The only safe way to clean a leather product is to use a pH balanced cleaner so that it integrates well with the fibers of the leather. And then we're just gonna use uh, this rag right here and we're just gonna go in a circular motion and try to get as much dirt out of uh, the cushion as we can. And you can see there's some areas we wanna focus on these side areas here are in really bad shape. And then also we've got this uh, adhesive stain here that we're gonna try and pull out and see uh, if we can pull it out. I'm, I'm not even sure if it's gonna work. Vote of confidence, thanks Sean. So Ryan, we're gonna do this process about two or three times and when you're cleaning, you want to kind of build up a lather. Like the sudsy yeah. right there. And you can see it's on nice and thick. And it's almost like a layer of shaving cream. And then just work in a circular motion all the way around the cushion. This chair probably hasn't been cleaned in decades. And you can see how effective this is. Now a trick to also treat a stain like that is to leave some of the cleaner on the rag overnight and let it kind of soak in and you can work it out the next day. It feels great, so now we want to protect it and condition it. Leather is tough but fragile. It needs protection and care, and a conditioner nourishes the fabric, making it more durable. So you see we're going to put a nice thick coat on, and we're going to use a separate rag for this. And the process is going to be just to wipe it off, kind of rub it in a little bit, and then do a little buffing as well, and just kind of polish it more or less. This is really spectacular. Yeah, it's a big difference. So I really like using a microfiber cloth like this. It just seems to get nice traction on here yeah. and it seems to work the product in really well. And you can feel as we're working, there's a little stickiness a little to tack, it. Yep. We want to buff that out so it's nice and smooth. So we're almost done. So Ryan, you can actually feel how soft the buffing process yeah. is after we're done. And you can also see like a different grain in the leather that really wasn't visible before we cleaned it. And now it's conditioned, so we fed the leather, so now it's ready to go for another year or two of use. Now the key is we used uh, three different cloths, one to get all the initial debris off, one to do the cleaning with the Lexol cleaner, and then a third rag for the conditioner. You know what, Sean, this is a really simple project. I really think I'm gonna get some good use out of this Lexol at home, but I think this cushion has one more test. Let's get it back on the chair. All right. Wow, this leather seat really came to life. For less than $30 in product and less than 20 minutes of elbow grease, we saved this antique leather and made it look brand new. You know what, you've been working hard all day. Why don't you enjoy a good sit? I'm gonna go tackle a couple more DIY projects. All right, sounds good.